We all think that we have a great idea for an invention or we wouldn't be investing our valuable time and hard earned money trying to make them a reality. So why is it that statistically 98% of us will never make back our investment? Of course, there is more than one reason, but today I'll show you one simple methodology that will help you go from good ideas to great ones. Hi, Lisa Lloyd here with more tips, tricks, and strategies to help you optimize and accelerate your invention licensing business success. If you're new here or a returning visitor, welcome. If you like this video, please tell YouTube by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. It's a free way to support me doing this. And if you want more like this, smash the notification bell to be the first to know whenever I post a new video. One of the single most likely reasons for failure is that you have not invented something that is good enough to be worth the investment a company will need to make in order to license it. In his book, Six Thinking Hats, psychologist and inventor Eduardo de Bono lays out what I think is an incredibly simple approach to problem solving that can easily change the entire trajectory of your success. His inspiration for the book came from structuring creative thinking, which often leads to confusion for inventors, but most often leaving them stuck with not knowing what to do next. In it, he explains how you can put on six imaginary hats that represent different mindsets and emotions that allow you to look at your idea from various angles with a different focus. De Bono says, the main difficulty of thinking is confusion. We try to do too much at once. Emotions, information, logic, hope, and creativity all crowd in on us. It's like juggling too many balls. In other words, it helps to compartmentalize our thinking process in a way that puts our thoughts to work for us and not against us. It's a way to critique your ideas and will help you to be creative and bold while forcing you to also be honest and realistic. So let's take a look at the six thinking hats and how we can apply them as solo inventors. So first we have the blue hat, which is also called the management hat. This is ground zero. You've just realized you have an idea and you're excited and motivated to take action on it. With the blue hat on, we ask ourselves how to approach the problem and what are the ground rules? With this hat, you're going to look at the 10,000 foot view of your idea and then what steps it's going to take to get you to market. When you're wearing the blue hat, you're not the inventor, you are the steward or manager of the idea and responsible for organizing and implementing what steps you're going to need to take to validate and execute on it. So for me, this is my stage gate process, the same steps that I've used over and over again to license all of my ideas. Outline your path, whether you intend to license or venture, for example. What will you need to be successful? Is it time, money, support from qualified coach? What's the roadmap, so to speak? And that leads us to the white hat, which are facts and data. With this hat on, your mindset is, if it can't be proved, it gets removed. <laughs> Write down the basic idea and answer for yourself. What is the purpose and who does it serve? Where are the gaps in your knowledge and what can you do to eliminate them? The white hat mindset taps into your inner scientist with hypotheses that need to be validated without bias. When you solely wear this hat, you are not distracted by those deep desires to turn a blind eye to the truth, but instead you allow the truth to teach you how to improve your ideas based on the data. This is especially helpful and very important when you're doing all the research to validate the marketability, the patentability, and the consumer demand for your product. Facts, even when they tell us what we wish wasn't true, are our friends because they empower us to use our creativity to deliver superior solutions. Yellow hat, on the other hand, is positivity and value. This hat helps you to answer the unique value and benefits of your new product and what it promises to deliver. When wearing the yellow hat, you've compartmentalized your brain to focus solely on the wonderful and most meaningful benefits that you want to introduce to the world. Be honest here, make sure that there is real value in it and keep your expectations realistic. When you can clearly articulate the meaningful benefits that you want to deliver, it sets the stage for inventing the perfect solution, something that you have the confidence in to invest in and it will deepen your resolve to push through when things get really tough. Further, it makes the buying decision easy for companies that you want to license it and customers that you want to buy it at the store.
Now the red hat are your emotions. This is your gut feeling, both positive and negative, but with no requirement for an explanation. What are your feelings or what is your gut telling you about what you love about your idea and why? What I love most about checking in with your gut is that it's an incredible and unexplainable amount of wisdom that we can find deep inside. But this is only when you feel safe enough to be 100% honest with yourself, which I'm trusting you to do. Next, we have the black hat, which is negative. Here we do the opposite of the white hat and you get to play devil's advocate based on logical reasoning. Ask yourself, why wouldn't it work? And what are the issues, flaws, and maybe even drawbacks of it? With this hat on, you can go ahead and be tough on yourself and on the idea here. The hat is only temporary and applying this resistance to your thought process will challenge your thinking and help you to eliminate any bias that you may still have remaining. When you uncover these potential problems, you can remove them and dramatically improve your invention and the probability of its success. And finally, you have the green hat, which is creativity. This is where you get to cut your creativity loose. Now that you have all of the facts in place from the research, considered the new benefits that you're determined to deliver, given your gut a voice and played devil's advocate, how can you create, or if you already have, improve the idea? Can you iterate on the current one or will it need to be reimagined altogether? It's always amazing to me when I think I have a pretty solid idea and then as I run through my hat wardrobe, it takes on a new shape that was completely beyond what I originally imagined and so much better than I could have imagined the moment the idea first came to my mind anyway. The bottom line here is that even if you are really excited about your idea, you believe you've thought it through, you have a 3D prototype or maybe a real one and you're ready to pitch, your idea may still fail because the stats don't lie. The six thinking hats are a great way to evaluate not just your ideas and dramatically improve them, but will also improve your problem solving ability for every other challenge that you face on the path from idea to market. If that makes sense to you, book a free strategy call with me to learn how you can level up your invention skills and create a profitable licensing business. And if you like what you learned today, please don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. Dare to dream and imagine what's possible when powered by innovation.